So how are we doing guys and welcome is Kraken here and we're back to have a brand new base design to have a little look at so this is the thing when you have a bit of time off over Christmas sometimes you just like to come and start doing a bit of building so I decided that we would have a little look at building something a bit different so we do have the eight-legged creepy crawly here the spider now, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders in the world, if you know anything about me, and especially not spiders in the game, but um, I thought, why not? Started building something, didn't quite know what I wanted to do with it, started playing with staircases, and before I knew it, we had a spider in front of us. So, we're going to try and take this on about the hall, but first of all, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, would you like to see... Base designs like this, would you like to see a speed through uh, how the base was actually built, like a time lapse? Or would you rather just see the fully finished base like this and then take it up against a horde and basically see what it can do? So you guys let me know which you would prefer to see. So then before we get into the big horde night that we're going to do with that spider base over here, I've just brought you over to this. This is my base testing world, so we just play around with different ideas. This base here, I did a video on it showing the progression of this base and I have multiple series showing what this base can do. This is the number one base that you can do in Alpha 19. There's our spider over there. This can be made literally from day one from wood, cobblestone and you can just keep on upgrading this base here. And we get to the final point, nearly the final point, because we put steel on this where we have dart traps, a trip wire, electrical wire there. This base is basically unbeatable. Literally unbeatable, because you can upgrade, hello, bit of a tree there. We can upgrade this to steel in time. The dart trap that goes vertically, which does not set off the demolishes, the electrical traps and everything are hidden. In this little area here with the plates, you have a little area here out the back. You can get to your turret. You've got the battery bank here, so you can turn that on and off as well. All hidden out the way. And if we jump down to this bit here, we then have your combat area. And the best thing about this is we can repair these traps without any issues there I haven't got the stuff on me at the moment but we can repair those we've got the trip wires as well so we can repair both sides of this electrical fence we can repair this as we go along and you're hidden in here so things like the cops they only spit at you when they can actually see you so depending on which direction the zombies are coming from you're pretty much hidden in here totally and you can just Keep on fighting away. But anyway, let me know. I have done a video on how I actually built this and I'll link that in the description down below and put that up in the top right hand corner right now for you. That video is a little bit on the long side. Let me know if you would like to see a shorter explanation of that video and I will cut it down because I did quite a few little tests to show how the base would hold up let me know if you want to see a shorter version of that video and i will make one of those for you and how you to build this base step by step but today we have the tarantula so let's get cracking right here we go then heading off towards the tarantula build over here now i've i had to build this piece on the bottom here to help keep it off the ground because structural integrity of these staircases was not going to be enough to keep this thing off the ground so I built this in and just painted it a similar colour to the sand right if we get ourselves up here the guy's nearly out of stamina already up onto the top of the tarantula is the most simple horde base 
in the world. So it's taken the idea, we've got the battery bank here with the SMG turret just to sort out those vultures. But we've got the most basic build here. It's a similar version to that one over there, but we've only got the single blocks here. And that's just reinforced concrete, and you'll see that during the build because I've just given myself some concrete, and that is what we've done. So we've got some bars up above these concrete pillars, and we're going to let the zombies come from every side. Now, the downside to this base is the height of it because if i was to jump off and bail i will actually sprain my ankle every single time but what i have done is i've built myself a little trap door there we go to get myself up into here so if i wanted to escape that is what i will do now i'm hoping now i haven't actually tested this yet i'm hoping that the zombies will just see this path to me Obviously, I've got the ladder two off the ground there. They'll see this path to me and come up one of the eight legs and try and attack me here. They can get all the way around here, so there's no reason why they shouldn't. But this is what I'm expecting to see of the Horde Knight tonight. Now, as we all know, Horde Knights are designed and are all about your game stage. So our game stage here, level 48, isn't massive. But then we don't have many skills into a load of things either. So if we just have a quick look at the skills, I've got plenty of skill points available. But we haven't got many in. So strength, we've got Pummel Pete is only 3 out of 5. Sexy Saurus is 3 out of 4. Got a couple on heavy armour, only 2 there. 2 on minus 69er. Uh, have we got any in here? We've got 1 in pain tolerance, 1 in healing factor. So... Basically mid-level of the game. So we're not going to go and spend all the other skill points. Haven't got any into there. None into over here. So the very basic skill points actually spent. So. Let's bring on the horde and see what happens. Just waiting for the horde to come on in now. Now one of the downsides to this base is that this area here is so small... I'm not going to be able to use grenades or anything like that. So I have literally got my baseball bat here and a couple of guns. Now, we haven't even given ourselves loads and loads of ammo here. I've got a stack of repair kits. They probably won't even get damaged enough to do it. Got the concrete mix and I've got the nail gun so I can keep on upgrading things. We've got a bit of coffee here just to keep our stamina going because this is basically going to be all about the melee. So that's what we're going to be doing. We'll do the Horde Knight and we'll see how the base holds up really because that's um, that's the whole idea. Just having a bit of fun, see what happens with the base and we'll go from there. Right then, just coming up to the Horde, just to show you my guy is actually wearing just scrap armour, so nothing too special. Level 6, quite easy to get into the game and I've got just one mod one helmet like mod no other mods on this whatsoever right let's get some coffee inside us and we'll pop a couple of those skull crushers now these do stack so that's given us 10 minutes there so we'll take three of those which should be the length of the whole night and we've got some more coffee there on us right one thing that does worry me is how close I'm going to have to be to every single edge. So we're going to have to really keep on our toes tonight. Because I've only got those five first aid bandages down there. I have no other health items. I'm starting to think this was really a bad idea. Where are they? Here we go, construction. Oh, we've got vultures in already. Jesus. But it looks like they are coming. It doesn't look like they are all coming up. They're coming from every bloody angle. Norza. Hello. Don't you start hearing me. Right, we're going to have to clear a few of these out. I say I cannot use grenades. What are you doing up there? Just hanging out? Easy. There's 
dogs can reach through. I have broken... Is that my arm? It's from these dogs. Maybe we should put something a bit heavier down the bottom. Where's that dog? Oh, there's a spider. He's not liking the fact that I've made something up. Get down from there, you. It's these dogs. Maybe we should put a solid block down at the bottom. Oh, there's a lot of these. We've got 24 max alive. Get down from there. What are you... What are you doing up there? They seem to be coming to this side. That's because these bars will have taken a bit of damage. There we go. So, fix those up a little bit. Right, come on, you. God, we're moving really slowly. Oh, hello, Loza. Here comes the next wave. Right, I'm going to take one of these things to sort out my tennis knee. Let's go with the melee. Oh, we've got spiders jumping over us. Right, these are the problem. Oh, hello. Where's that coming from? These spiders and these dogs, they can really, really reach through. Really could have done with a bigger surface area here. What is that turret doing? Hello. Bloody dogs again. If you know anything about my nerd series, you know that I'm not getting on with the old poodles at the moment. I hear another one coming. Where are you? This time they're all coming from this direction. Got ourselves another skill point. Oh, you've made it inside. I do like the way that they keep falling back as well though, that's um, that's really useful. Here we go, so we've changed directions now. Trying to outsmart me, trying to take every single leg that the spider has to offer. Here we go. Put the AK on this. What are you doing, Homer? Get on down here. Oh, we're actually out of AK ammo now. Maybe I should have bought myself a splint as well. I have to try and stick with the old... We can't power attack either because we've got a broken arm. The Eternity... Right, well there you have it folks, if you want a hall base that's actually going to keep you alive and not break your legs and break your arms, consider building this hall base 
over here because that's a practical war base. If you want to have a bit of fun and scare the shit out of yourself by making some creepy crawlies or some arachnids like this, have a bit of fun and build a base like this. Guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this one. It was a bit of fun because I've had a few extra days off over Christmas and New Year. Happy New Year to you. This will be going out the day after New Year's Day, the 2nd of January. There you go, guys. Like I say, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see some builds like this done as a time lapse so you actually see how we actually build these kind of bases. Or if you want to see this base over here, the progression of this base. Like I say, I do have one video on that already, which I will put in the description down below of this video. But there you have it. Just a bit of fun for you, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. <laughs>